This gentleman presented with a problem with hyperacusis, real extreme sensitivity to sounds, uh, for the last year and four months. This all started after a rather prolonged abdominal surgery. He has normal audiometry and his uh, CT scan of the temporal bones does not show any third window and he doesn't have any clinical signs of a third window. He doesn't have headaches either, but when I asked him about migraine related symptoms, he reported that he has ocular migraine. And uh, how long were your episodes of ocular migraine lasting? Um, 10 to 15 minutes at a time, but a couple times a month. Yeah, and then we, because of this, uh, we treated you with nortriptyline. Correct. At a low dose of only 20 milligrams. And you had an almost complete absence of the ocular migraine, I understand. That's uh, but your ability to tolerate sounds has really improved. Yes, it has. I'm, yeah. I'm able to deal with most things every day. Loud music in restaurants still is a little painful, but yeah. doing much better than Yeah, that's great. Before. And there are no negative effects, and you're at a very low dose, so we're going to allow you to experiment with 30 and even 40 milligrams to see if you can get complete elimination of this symptom. Uh, but it seems to me that this hyperacusis, this sound sensitivity, was directly related to migraine activity, uh, a kind of sneaky form of migraine activity because headache, what we think of as the cardinal symptom of migraine, was completely absent. That's correct. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your sharing this because I'm sure there are many other patients who have a similar experience and uh, this gives them something to uh, ask their doctors to try. All right. Thank Migraine you. therapy. Thank you. Thank very you, much. Doctor.